Hey guys, Jiu-Jitsu Diagnostic here. Pineda's on top, and he does. Uh, um, he starts to get up, and here's an interesting. He passes off the head to the to do a right-handed guillotine. Now, in MMA, if we're on top, if we lay back with the submission, if we fail, we're on our back. So this is a high-risk move. So we have to be pretty sharp, confident. So he steps over. And I want you to note how much on the side he's going to be, uh, Pineda is going to be on his side. Look how much you can see as he goes back. Now, there's a little bit of danger here. If we look back, he doesn't throw the leg until he's almost onto his side. That's dangerous uh, against a good guy with good counters because they're going to roll over. So right here, he uh, Lutz could have preemptively rolled over. This was commonly. This was last seen in a McGregor fight with Chad Mendez. So now, uh, for Lutz, he's stuck. He can't go to this side because the leg is blocking, and it's a probably too late to roll onto the other way because this leg on top is hooked. Well, now let's go to this position here. I want you to see how much on the side that Pineda is on. All right, that you need that clearance, the side that you have the choke. Uh, high elbow, the elbow is upright, and the leg over the top, So, and the leg is hooked well here, so Lutz is not able to roll to that side. Now, to complete the choke, let's see if I can get a better angle. This is a really good angle here. That hook allows the drawing of their hips this way, hinging at the neck and you push their head into their own belly. So all of this, uh, it's a two-way motion, one in, one out, all at the neck with the grip up and down here. Okay, so the elbow oftentimes is seen pointing near or towards the sky. And that's what completes a high elbow gu guillotine. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to counter this, and Lutz is forced to tap.